What's up guys, it's Cody from Nonstop Editing here. Uh this is possibly our first video. I'm not sure exactly what the only other member of this channel is doing. His name is Jake. But uh he's currently making a montage that should be out soon. Uh we just started this channel up. This is like kinda of like tutorial for tutorials, uh montages, com commentary gameplay commentary, just a bunch of random stuff just for both of us to upload to the same channel and just kind of to have for ourselves like we are we were or like kind of are I guess in a clan but I don't know that kind of fell apart since school started just because we've had literally no time to do anything like that but anyway today I'm just gonna bring you a simple tutorial it's kind of a cool text effect where you can kinda of see through here I'll just if you wanna look up in this corner here just play it for you so I dive over sorry for the leg um, and then the text scrolls across and you can kind of see through it you see some like sparkly stuff or whatever uh... and yeah so i'm just going to show you how to do this kind of simple text effect now I don't, it's kind of i don't want to say unprofessional but it kind it, it's pretty bad looking when i had it scroll across but i just wanted you guys to be able to clearly see like the change in the background so i'm going to just delete i'm going to delete this stuff actually except for one of my video clips so what you're gonna need is your original video clip or whatever it may be uh... here's mine boom right here uh... and then you're gonna need sorry just changing this back to normal you're gonna need three video tracks now I, if you want audio in your clip you then just for example if i had an audio clip here i just hit or hold down U and click it to separate it and they just have that in one track because what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this you're gonna you're gonna take your original clip and you're gonna copy and you're gonna paste it up here now put your pasted clip in your third slot as, as you can see I have three well I guess it's number one here but anyways then you're gonna take the default text you're gonna drag it in and now I'm just gonna I don't even know I, like I'm, I'm gonna do like I, or I'm gonna do actually Cody and what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna have a very thick text for this effect I just use impact you guys can mess around with that I don't really care crank that up uh, that's probably gonna be too big but make the text very large now this is the important part you're gonna want for you're gonna wanna go down and go into your second track and you're gonna see this arrow pointing down it says make compositing child you wanna click that and then you're gonna go up to your first track which has your copied your copied video click on compositing mode which is like film like a picture film like thing and then an A I think or an alpha symbol I don't even know what that is yeah alpha uh, and then you're gonna wanna change this to multiply mask now you're not gonna see anything cause you haven't really changed anything between the two clips but what I see what I what seems to work pretty good is in on your original trick or clip you don't want to do soft contrast and I have like this uh, effect that I made in my first montage uh, here I'll if you want to see the see the uh, settings here they are just pause the video transfer them over I don't really I just kind of played around with it but as you can look down the preview window it's you can clearly see the words but it kind of looks dull and stuff on the inside of the words so what you want to do uh you want to get get one of these doesn't really matter which I'll try this one and you're going to drag it to your track 1 uh there you can see a big change but you're going to want to turn turned the brilliance down a little bit because it kind of overwhelms it almost so I'll turn that down uh, strength maybe a little bit down too I don't really there we go sorry it's threshold I couldn't really remember so I don't know that looks about good and maybe I don't know, you just kind of mess around with these settings. Maybe put sepia in there. 
make it even brighter, change this to white. Actually, I don't really like that. I don't know, you just kind of play around with some settings. Starburst usually seems pretty good, or even blurs can look good, as I can show you right now. Oh, crap. I kind of want to find a... I don't really know what it's called. Uh, defocus seems to work pretty good. It doesn't matter again. Put that in. This kind of... You lose kind of the effect a little bit. Uh... But you can change like you can change the radius down or whatever. Sorry, my computer's kind of being laggy right now. Turn down bloom threshold. Turn down strength too. And there you can kind of start seeing it through. There, that looks kind of bad, but you you know what I mean. Just you just it's one of those effects where you have to mess around a little bit with the settings. Um, yeah, and that's that's about all I have for you. You can kind of mess around with transitions going in. Um, yeah, that's about all I have for you. Just kind of a cool effect for, like, an intro to a montage or something. And actually, someone had asked me about this a few months ago, probably. And, I don't know, I just, I kind of just remembered, remembered it, and I thought it was kind of a cool effect. So, uh, anyways, for sweet montages interesting funny commentaries good tutorials uh, I'll be doing Cinema 4D Photoshop and Sony Vegas tutorials and I'll try to do one a week and then I'll just upload random clips or whatever that I get when I'm playing COD and anyways so that's about all I have for you Jake should have a video up tonight he's thinking but until until next time see ya